Okay, uh, so hello, and my name is Robert Bossi, and I'm from uh, uh, the Biblium team in the French National Institute of Agronomy. So I will start um, telling, um, saying about uh, ourselves. So um, the French uh, National Institute of Agronomical Research has um, a wide spectrum of domains of interest, agriculture, food, nutrition, biology, uh, fundamental biology, ecology, sustainable development, and so on. This is the uh, biggest uh, food science uh, institute in Europe and second biggest in the world. And, um, and there's a lot of uh, uh, areas of interest. Um, our team is a, is a research team inside the bioinformatics lab, so we have a bioinformatics culture. And our specialty is a, a natural language processing applied to biology, and in particular, domain-specific knowledge acquisition, because we work with people with, that have so different interests uh, that um, uh, lexicons are very different, very um, diverse, so we have um, developed some kind of specialty of knowledge acquisition. So our approach is that our research and developments, uh, software developments, always start from, um, from end users, end users that are our colleagues, uh, researchers in, in all these areas that have some kind of demands of, of requirement and so we work with them. So our, our research uh, starts with and, and supports is uh, applied service to end users. Um, however, we make our developments as generic and reusable as possible, of course, because we want to be able uh, to answer um, the needs of uh, the next uh, colleague that comes to us. So some achievements, um, well, scientific achievements, uh, I mean publications, I won't tell about publications here, we don't care uh, right now. Uh, software, we have developed uh, a suite of software, um, in particular for um, uh, knowledge acquisition, so uh, an annotation editor, terminology editor, uh, construction tool, uh, semantic search engine um, um, factory. And um, the software that interests us here is Alvis NLP ML, which is a corpus processing engine, which is very similar to Gate and uh, UEMA. And we participate in, in several projects. The main ones uh, right now that have uh, uh, taken our time uh, is the uh, BioNLP share tax that we joined in 2001 as, as uh, um, as organizers, so we uh, for the last um, session we have organized the BB3 and CDEV tasks, which have attracted a lot, of, a lot of participants. And we are currently part of the EU project named uh, Open Mighty. This is an infrastructure project uh, which has the objective to offer text mining infrastructure for researchers. Uh, Gate is in this project. Uh, DK Pro is in this project. Um, uh, Argo is in this project also, and Arvis, of course. And um, uh, maybe we have some lessons. This project has some lessons, lessons to draw from this hackathon. Um, a, a word about our VS NLP ML that uh, we are uh, advancing today. How it is, what it is, and how it works. So it is uh, basically an uh, NLP workflow engine that allow users to assemble processing modules uh, into NLP pipelines. So we, they assemble uh, custom pipelines uh, to their custom needs. So the design goals of our VSNLP is reproducibility. Uh, this, is, this was um, um, uh, really a, 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 at stake for our research. We had to uh, ensure that we can reproduce our results by uh, sharing uh, the pipelines. 
Uh, so adaptation to new problems uh, and sharing the pipelines, of course, and scalability, of course, it was into our mind. So we have a library of modules that we assemble. So the kinds of modules we have, so input-output, we can read and write in a variety of formats, the corpora and the lexicon. Um, linguistic modules like tokenization, post-tagging, parsing, term extraction, etc., etc. Uh, generic um, modules like lexicon projection, regular expressions on characters, on tokens, and so on. And uh, some um, machine learning modules based on Weka and, and WAPT. WAPT is a CRF-based uh, uh, library that works really well. In concrete terms, uh, the plan the plan is is the file uh, where the user uh, writes his uh, NLP pipeline. Um, so this uh, this file contains the sequence of modules. Uh, it it specifies the external resources that um, uh, the pipeline will will use when it is run and the parameters for each module. So uh, this week we are not interested in how we, we write a, a plan. We are just interested in the fact that we develop several plans uh, during our research and, uh, and, um, and we have to know that plans exist and we want to uh, share these plans. So running a plan so we have two ways to run a plan. A plan. There's a common line interface, which is the most useful interface, of course, when we are developing uh, new pipelines. And there's the REST interface, uh, which is more for uh, really wrapped up and finished uh, pipelines. So uh, the REST interface exposes the documentation for this NLP. Uh, it allows the user to expose selected plans, so we have a collection of plans, and so we want to expose them, so the REST interface is quite recent, and it can expose some parameters uh, to make it um, uh, customizable. customizable. So the users can, and then the users can run these exposed plans either synchronously or asynchronously. So our proposal. Uh, the initial idea was to make uh, the REST service understand the pub annotation protocol. That means either reading corpora and annotations uh, from, uh, from a pub annotation uh, resource or by um, processing, well, uh, or and um, um, uh, making the output of, of our this NLP and REST service um, uh, compliant to the pad annotation format. Um, this, this has the main advantage to turn any plan exposed by the REST service as a, a linked annotation tool, and at least a pub annotation uh, tool. So uh, the benefit for us would be more exposure of our development and the benefits for uh, the linked community, the black community, would be that we bring a, co a potential of, of a, a large collection of an, uh, NLP annotation tools in one, uh, in at once. So the materials, um, so the source, it's in Java, the license is Apache license version 2, which is okay. Uh, the source is on GitHub. Uh, the deployment, uh, we bring a ready-to-use plan, which is a bacterial taxon name entity recognition. It's not the best one, but it's, uh, it's there. Um, we can run the application, the, the REST service, uh, on my laptop or yourself with the Jetive uh, Maven plugin, maybe on Ingress server if we uh, can manage to do that. Um, the workflow, uh, there are two of us uh, this week here, uh, myself and Muhammad Uba, which is there, and um, the main developer of Alvis NLP is there. All right, thank you for attention.